this is a really lovely wine, very fresh, bright, crisp and juicy. Uh, it's not that intense, so it's not over the top, and it's really good on its own and very, very good with food. Um, it is made from one of the most interesting grape varieties I think we know of in the last, say, 50, 60 years. Um, it's only actually been commercially made in the last 50, 60 years, and it is the unique selling point of Austria. Um, well, it's not unique anymore. Other people are growing it, but it was certainly the calling card that made us really look at Austria for really high quality wines. Uh, and it's Gruner Veltliner. Gruner is um, not related to the other grape variety. There's a Veltliner, the Rote Veltliner, just so happens to have a, the same second name. Uh, and it is a really interesting grape because a lot of people would assume, given the shape of the bottle, that it must be like Riesling. And it's a little bit like Riesling in that it is high in acid, quite firm and linear in terms of the delivery of flavour, but the flavours are quite different. I often describe Bruno Veltland as being one of three different things. It can either be a little bit like Riesling, it can be quite a little bit like Chardonnay, or it can be a little bit like Sauvignon Blanc in that it can be fruity and crisp, it can be quite rich like Chardonnay and even assimilate characteristics from oak barrels. And like Riesling, it can be this very firm, fine and linear thing. This particular version is a little bit more like Sauvignon Blanc. Now, when I say that, I don't really mean it tastes like Sauvignon and it's a good substitute. It still tastes like Gruner Veltliner and it's still got this wonderful core of fresh picked apples, not overly flavoury greeny ones, but kind of white fleshed apples. What does the skin look like? Maybe green and red, those Cox's Pippin things. It's got that flavour, which you don't get with Sauvignon Blanc on its own, necessarily, uh, but it then behaves in a kind of a mouth-watering, fresh way that you might get with Sauvignon. This is delicious, and it's made by a very important winery in the Wachau region of Austria. Uh, Domaine Wachau own a huge number of vines. They um, are a, they're essentially a cooperative, and they have a whole no number of um, vineyard owners who contribute their grapes to the winery every year and the com combination is like it's about a third of the whole of the Wachau's production so it's, it's a hugely important company within the very important region of Wachau um, and because of that they can get superb range of vineyard access so they've got some of the best single vineyard parcels and they've got some of the great big uh, sort of much larger vineyards that allow them to get uh, volume when they need it this wine is one of those volume driven wines. It's really delicious uh, and it's a really good entry level to what you get um, with the domain, but also um, with Wachau as, uh, as a region and also then as Austria and also then as Gruner Veltliner. So it's a really lovely entry to what I think is a flipping brilliant style of wine. Seafood, yeah, of course. Um, salads, absolutely. Uh, but on its own as an aperitif, I think it's brilliant. And I think you're going to really like it as well. Thank mm -hmm. you.